that's Brenda from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Okay, so it's still a little cool today, but in about three weeks, it's going to be very hot outside. And what the roses hate is really warm roots. They want cool roots. So what can you do besides keeping putting compost on it? Well, you can plant a ground cover that will not choke them out. So I used um, a couple of years ago lamb's ears, and I'll attach that video. And you also have bugle weed, which I'll put a picture on. But I want to keep with the beautiful um, Creeping Jenny, also known as Money Wart. Why is it called Money Wart? Well, one, the leaves are the size of a coin, like a dime. And Wart was what Money was called back in the day. So Money Wart comes from Europe. And when I was working in England, I would see this or the lime green mosses. Ever since then, I planted everywhere. I love that look. Okay, so here we have meat petite knockout roses, which are going to be beautiful. I mean, beautiful red. And then we have the Picasso group here that are going to have different colors. I don't want anything that's going to take away from that beautiful look. So the money wart will keep it low so I don't lose my ar architectural pieces. And um, it'll keep it one color so these will pop like crazy. Okay, so money wart, really shallow roots. So if you're going over something that's really rocky and you don't have to dig, it's perfect. Um, also, it's like a strawberry plant. It's out of, well, let me think about that. Um, it will just root all the way and it will stretch. So let me plant some of these and I'll be right back. Okay, as you see, I dug these up. I grow these everywhere. And all you do is put them and just gently cover them. And these will expand, I guess, about mm, 18 inches. I mean, they really creep along. That's why they're called Creeping Jenny. But these will fill out by uh, late spring, early summer. It'll really get established. So, and see the roots here? All you do is just kind of trench it, put it in. It's time for coffee again. Okay, um, these are out of the um, primrose family. And everybody knows the beautiful primroses. These really don't have flowers or flowers that you would notice. But these are known for spreading. And um, they're just beautiful. Okay, did anybody notice that my um, knockouts were really short and I have a fence here? Well, we went to... <laughs> film the San Antonio Japanese tea rose garden and also a video is coming out on the Mercer Arbitrarium and Botanical Garden and so the deer decided that they would come in and plow these to the ground. <laughs> I was so mad. So for some reason you could hear one of the beepers for the sonic boomers quit working. We were only gone for a couple weeks but clearly it was enough that they would eat it. But um, the good thing is they don't like to eat the Creeping Jenny. Like they hate it. I don't know why. It's not raw feeling, but they just totally ignore it. But these will spread really quickly. The care of them is about the same as the rose. Just a little water. Um, they do like fertilizer, but they're for the more lush areas. And so though when it's really hot, the roses will shade them. And, the, and they love the shade. They actually make great house plants. But this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. This is how you keep your roses really cool in the hot summers. Take care and please subscribe, like, and share. Bye.